How's it going everybody? This is the new build I just did. New Axio SCX-10-3. Came out pretty nice. My first actual build-in paint job. Didn't get the interior done yet. I still gotta paint up the head of it. We go get some paints. We don't have any hobby shops around the Indiana area except for down in Apollo. But so far on this one, I got the Team Garage Hack Mild front portal. It's like 24%, I believe. I got the front portal weights. Oh, I got 50 weight in the front and 60 in the rear. And I swapped the springs. I put the red springs in the front and the green in the back trying it out. I haven't been able to run it much since uh, work started up again and it's family and all that stuff. But yeah, it's nice. I really like it. My, I put mine together correctly because I'm very pay attention to details real well. So I made sure the gears were in the right way so I wouldn't have that click noise. And I don't have a click noise. It is. It is a bit loud with all the metal gears and stuff, but I do not have a click. So, there it is. There's my build. I think I did pretty good for my first one. Now, there is definitely room for improvement on the paint job, which I will actually get actual, the right kind of tape to, for Lexan and stuff. I just had the thick, oh, what's it called? Frog tape. The green stuff that you use for painting interior interior houses and whatnot. But yeah, there it is. Oh, important part. Got to get these body clips off quickly. Okay, here's what I got going on. I got the axe. I don't think you can see it. Anyway, it's the Axe 550-3300KV, and I run these uh, little Avonic 2250C batteries, 3S. These are really good, and you can get, I think, two of them for like 30 bucks or so, something like that off eBay, and they come with the XT60 connectors. I shortened these up and shortened motor leads up because they were way too long. Um, tomorrow which will be, oh, I don't know the date. Anyway, tomorrow I get my two SX-107 servos to put in here for the dig and the two-speed. I wasn't gonna do the two-speed at first, but I said, what the heck, since I have it, just throw it in. If I don't like it, I'll lock it out later on, but I wanna try it. And I am running the Fly Sky GT5. I took the receiver, the receiver and opened it up and put conformal coating on it, so it should be no, no, no problems. And I'm running the Power HD. Oh crap! What is it? There it is. LW25MG. I run that and this one and in my Gen 8. And it does pretty good. I never had it really stall on me, except when you're at a real steep angle. Other, other than that, it's really good. I haven't had any problem. It's strong. I'll give you a little shot. So I think it's on. Yeah, we're on. Ain't too bad. 